revoir. You're about all those kids going around doing these interviews? Yeah, it's just really sad what happened to that boy. Yeah, I wonder what all the reaction is. Well, I remember seeing him on the first day, and everyone looked at him like he was kind of weird, but I welcomed him, like I welcomed him to the school and everything, and then he never spoke to me, like again, ever. So I was like, what did I do? So I guess he was just kind of different, you know, like who wouldn't want to talk to me, but yeah. He was one of the people in the school I felt most connected with. Um, I always felt like I could help him, you know, try to make a difference to how, how he felt. He never really found this place in the school because he wasn't someone who would come to you, you would always come to him. Um, I'm really saddened by what happened. I can't imagine him not being there anymore and not, you know, talking to him. Trying to find out what's going on in his head. What's up, man? Hey, man. How are you? Where have you been? I had this dumb interview, man. They tried to question me about that gig. Oh, are you serious? Yeah. What did you say? Well, <laughs> I lied a lot. Really? Yeah. Alright, man. I gotta go to buy that, man. I'll see you later. Yeah. Take care. Well, he used to do this really creepy artwork, heavy duty stuff, um, lots of blood and guts. Funny student, he was a quiet kind of guy but had all this stuff going on underneath the surface. He was a serious bloke, he had quite a conscience actually. Yeah, I know. You seemed like a nice guy. I only talked to him a few times. Talked to him not too long ago, actually. It's right before our party. I was gonna invite him. But, I don't know, his, he didn't have that many friends and my friends didn't really know him, so I just figured it probably wasn't such a good idea. But, now I wish I had. Maybe we would have had a good time. Nowadays, you know, I get up in the morning and, and I feel like I, I have to go to breakfast, I have to get him ready for school, and, and, then, and then it dawns on me, and suddenly it's like, a, like, a, like someone threw a cold water on me, and he's not there. He's gone. My son is gone. It, it, it's devastating. I don't know how to handle it. I feel guilty. I feel remorse. I feel anxious and anxiety. It, it, it almost feels like it's not worth living myself. I, I feel like my love to him has always been so strong, stronger than anything. Maybe stronger than even for my husband or my daughter. And, and maybe that's what was wrong. Maybe I just loved him too much. And maybe all the pressure of that and school and, and living up to standards just just was just wrecked him. And, and it's my fault. And it's, it's my husband's fault. And Daughter's fault and it's the world's fault. And I, I just, I, I don't know how to, I don't even know how to live anymore. A child should never die before a parent. I don't know what to say. I mean, he was my brother. I loved him so much. I never told him that though. I really regret that. I remember he didn't really get paid very much for the basketball team, but I think he was smart because I copied off once in math class, and I think I got a good grade. 